Right, how's it going? Right, this is my first video explaining how to do something. Now, I'm fairly new to it all myself. I've only been doing it a few months, but I've got the basics of the tachograph. If you are getting confused, I've got the basics myself now. So, and there's a few more complicated bits and bobs on here that some of the people who have asked about, they said, oh, well, I don't really know what that is. So I might be able to shed a bit of light on that. But if you just want the basics, here we go. I'll flip you around. So this is your taco. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to eject it. I'm on break technically, but it should be all right. I'll just pause it whilst it's ejecting. That's my surname. Do you know what? I'll keep recording because it'll, it'll show you what to do if you're ejecting it as well. Um, it'll say end country. You just click OK just here. Just there. Boom. All tacos are pretty much the same. Some of them slightly different variants. This is like a Volvo one and these. I've used a couple of different ones. 24 hour day. Click OK and then it will eject it. This is what you'll do at the end of the day. Okay. So, right. Going from the start, this is how you use it. So you get in your truck, your time's at the top, 17, 16. That's your, your miles or kilometers even, how much the truck has done. Um, so you'll put your taco in this way. Yeah. Fairly simple with your the little chip and pin type job at the top, pop it in. Yep, it's just like a driving license with a chip and pin. There's the time you it'll come up welcome and then your surname and it will load up. Last withdrawal was literally just now, <laughs> but obviously usually you would Oh, click OK. So I'm still on break. It just said, look, that's when I took it out. And that's when I just put it in. OK. OK. Now, where I clicked OK before, you can do a manual entry. So it will say, say if you've been working, like checking the lorry beforehand, you could do a manual entry, moving the time up and down. So you've been working from a certain time. Uh, right, so... That's it basically. So I'll click down. Oh, it's still loading up because I've just put it right. It's loaded up now. So that's my. I've took this to the garage today to get some fixed on it. Long story short, so I haven't done much driving time today. I've only done fifty-four minutes. Um, I've been sat here eight minutes. That's my break time. Just there. Now the reason that you've got two here because you can split your break into two. So you can have a fifteen minute. And you can have a half an hour. The second one has got to be half an hour. So if you if I have 15 minutes just here, and then I start driving again, it'll go to the top. It'll say 15. And then when I start another break, this will start on obviously zero zero, then it'll go up to zero one. But the top one will say 15, and that'll go up to 16. Yeah. So you have 15 at the top and 0 at the bottom. And as that goes up to 1, as you've just seen, that's just flicked to 9 and 9. But if you've already got 15 at the top, that'll go up to 16. And that'll be 0, 1. All the way up to 45 at the top and 30 at the bottom. And that's your 45 minute break, which you need to take every 4.5 hours or just before. Because if you go 1 minute over, I'll flip you up. And if you get pulled up by Vosa, and I think it's changed to, it's part of DVSA now. If you get pulled over and you're going over your time, you get fined for it. Because it's unsafe to drive that amount of time. So, um, yeah, that's the basics of the taco. I'll show you a few more bits on there that I've sort of figured out. So, if anyone else is a lorry driver and you know what these mean, just let me know and let everybody else know and leave a comment. Don't want to give any false information. Right, so that's my total break now. I think that'll go down, I think. Let's see. That's gone down. So that's my time unless until my break is finished, I think. I think that's what that'll be. So if that's 34 plus 11, yeah. So that's my remaining break time. Sorry, that is my remaining break time just there. See, there's so many different things on there. It's not until they start going up or down, you figure what they are, what they are. But anyway, there's a lot of complicated stuff on here. The basics that you'll need to know is when you first start are these ones. You're 15, you're 45, and how long you've been driving for. So keep an eye on it. 
So, yeah, it is all a bit confusing. I get confused with it. I could work it out because I think, oh, that does that. But, yeah, the basics that you will need to pay attention to when you first start are every four and a half hours you need to take a 45-minute break. This is on your theory test as well. And then you can drive for another four and a half hours. You can, that's nine hours in total, you can increase this to 10 hours. You just have to take another 45 minute break and then you can drive for an hour after that as well. So that's 10 hours, but you can only increase it to 10 hours twice, just twice a week. Yeah, you'll learn it as you go along. Um, I will be doing other videos. This is my first of many. So hopefully it's been some sort of help. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Finish, I will put this little clip in here so you understand this bit. So I had 15 minutes earlier and I've had one minute now. Um, so that one minute has gone up there to add on to that. So that'll go to 30 and then that'll be 45. That'll be the 45 minute break.